Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Here I go. Our enemies stand no chance against this power. All right, well now it's time to reveal the winner. The nominees are joining us here. Hi guys, all right, here we go. Uh, and the winner is, the Game Award goes to No Man's Sky. Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video we're going to be covering the topic of Bungie got kind of snubbed in the Game Awards this year. Destiny 2, Bungie's game, got nominated for two separate awards. The first one being Best Ongoing Game, which obviously Destiny is going six years now, and that is extremely impressive. If you think about six years ago what games were relevant and killing it, and now six years later through the time and through history, how many of those games have just absolutely fallen off of a cliff. The Division. Anthem, so many other games of the similar genre to Destiny have completely fallen off. And this isn't to roast those games or anything. I always feel bad when games die. Like honestly, can we get some Fs in the comment section of this video for Anthem? I hate to see games fail, but they often do over time. But Destiny and Destiny 2 has been extremely resilient. I mean, there have obviously been many peaks and many valleys. And right now we're probably experiencing a pretty bad valley with Beyond Light. I mean, overall the game really isn't in the best place right now. It's getting a ton of criticism for all the bugs in the game and for the lack of content that arrived. So, I mean, being completely honest, I feel like Bungie would have felt a little weird accepting or receiving best ongoing game, especially with how much harsh criticism they're getting right now. The timing would have just been absolutely terrible. So best ongoing game, I understand. Didn't go to Destiny 2. It doesn't feel too bad, but best community support. I believe this is an award that Bungie actually won last year. And this isn't just Bungie winning it. This is us winning it, the community, because we might be a small and we're smaller than most of the games that are up here. But we are a passionate community, and Bungie lost best community support this year. To Fall Guys? Really? Of all the games, Fall Guys beats us? We gotta do better than that next year, community. That being said, though, of course, you know, congratulations to Fall Guys and to their community. You know, you guys won best community support 2020. That is very impressive and amazing. Uh, but let me know in the comment section below, do you think that Bungie got snubbed on this one? Do you think that Destiny 2 truly has the best community of any game out there? I mean, it really is remarkable what we do in terms of charity every year. Every year, the Destiny community, we're not even that big, but we raise millions of dollars. How? How do we do that every year? How is it that such a small niche community can raise millions and have such a big impact? It will always amaze me what the Destiny community is capable of. And you didn't win one this year, Bungie, but hopefully, fingers crossed, you can fix up this Beyond Light mess. Hopefully, Season 13 goes a lot smoother than this season, and then perhaps... Maybe the Witch Queen era or the Lightfall will we'll see Bungie receive some awards. But that remains to be seen. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you want to stay up to date on all things Destiny 2 Beyond Light. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.